Welcome back to Island Bike Life. Got a call from Robin down at Coal City Cycles here in Nanaimo. Said he's got a good demo for me today. Let's go check it out. All right, here we go. Welcome back to Island Bike Life. We're gonna be riding the Santa Cruz Nomad C today. Beautiful Friday morning here in Nanaimo, BC. We're gonna be showcasing some of the best downhill lines that I think will hook this bike up the way it should be down at South Benson. Buda Broughton, Sexy Flanders, Max Power and Huts. Built primarily by uh, Bill McLean. Bill's the best stuff in uh, all in and animal, that's for sure. It's your first time uh, checking the channel out. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hope you like what you find here. You're gonna find some videos on bike reviews, product reviews, trail building bike maintenance and all around good times here on the island. We're on the Nomad Sea. Comes pretty well equipped. At least here in Canada the retail on this bike is $7,050. Certainly not cheap. Not by any means. But we're dealing with a Santa Cruz bike. A little bit of a boutique brand. Lifetime warranty on the frame for the original owner. Lifetime warranty on the frame bearings for the original owner. It's good value there. In terms of the build kit, rock shocks front and rear, 170 mil travel, like I said. Got the Lyric RC up front and the Super Deluxe uh, on the rear. Drivetrain is GX Eagle, including the cranks. E13 TRS wheel set, 27 and a half size, for anybody who didn't know. Both uh, DT370 hubs, front and rear. It's a nice touch. Minion uh, DHF DHR2 combo, front and rear, and the wide trail offering, 2.5 and 2.4 respectively. You have your uh, additional SRAM bits, code R brakes, reverb dropper. The cockpit is finished off with the uh, race face effect. Bar and stem combo. I'm 6'2", just about, riding a large today. I generally fit on a large sometimes an extra large. My first impression on the fit for me on this bike uh, is a little, a little small actually. We got about a 40 minute climb to get to the top. It's the only part about being here that isn't so great when you're solo. If you're here with a buddy, you can shuttle and cut out a good 15 minutes of road riding. But it's just me today, so up we go. I'm not going to bore you with that. We'll check back in once we get to the top. done the first uh, road climb. Not sure what my time was. Um, it was not uh, not that bad actually for a bike with this much travel and no lockout. Just doing a fire road. Uh, perceived effort wise about the same as my Yeti 5.5 which was uh, 
a nice surprise. I thought it was going to be a little bit more challenging. That being said, I uh, definitely used all of the 500% range on the Eagle cassette. Hashtag SRAM Eagle. But that's okay. I guess that's what it's there for. So the last little bit of this climb is through a trail and up a little kind of creek bed, I guess. Up to Uderbroughton. And then we'll see what this thing is all about. What it truly was made for. Going downhill fast. Or as fast as my average skills will allow it to go. All right, here we go. You okay? Oh yeah.
Wow. That's about all I can say about Santa Cruz Nomad. That is uh, one of my most favorite trails in Nanaimo for sure. Still working on hitting everything on it. But it's never felt so crazy as it did on this bike. Just eats it all up. Scary fast. Normally I find I'm pushing myself to go faster and go into corners quicker and take drops and do different things to, you know, increase my trail speed. This thing is so fast I had to work to slow it down. Just an incredible bike. So what are some overall takeaways? Well, it climbs better than what you would think for a 170 mil bike, that's for sure. It's not gonna get you to the top in any sort of record speed, I don't think, but it'll get you there. You won't be too tired at the end. Would I really want this as my only bike? Probably not. Doing cross country, general trail riding around Nanaimo or other, other places. I think you'd be pretty tired by the end. But as a second fun bike to go downhill as fast as you can, eat up anything that you throw at it. Oh, hell yeah. All day long. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Island Bike Life. Hope you liked the review of the 2018 Santa Cruz Nomad. Go see the guys down at Cold City Cycles here in Nanaimo. Take this out for a spin. Or better yet, get one of your own. If you like what we're doing here, think about hitting the subscribe and the like button. Leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Let's hit the trails.